The Terminator was released in 1992 by Mindscape. Just like the movie, you assume the role of Kyle Reese, a traveler from the future who returns to modern day LA to protect the life of Sarah Connor, the woman who holds the key to the survival of the human race. Your mission? Destroy a brutal killing machine known as the Terminator. He's big, he's bad, and he's almost unstoppable. Let's hope you're smarter than he is. The game features 10 levels in this NES game. Remember, if you're new here, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button as it helps out this channel grow. And don't forget to hit the notification button for all future videos. So, how is the Terminator today? Let's find out in this review of the Terminator for the Nintendo Entertainment System. The basic story is here. You play as Kyle Reese, a soldier of the future sent back to the past to stop the Terminator. A machine that looks human in every way possible, except for what's underneath its skin. The Terminator is out to kill Sarah Connor, the mother of John Connor, the man who helps lead the humans to victory during the war. If she dies, he'll never be born and the machines will win. Kyle Reese can't let this happen, so it's up to him to save Sarah and stop this thing. Although, with no weapons from the future, stopping it will be almost impossible. There's not too many cutscenes or dialogue in this game, so it doesn't help you out on what's going on in the story. The game doesn't do the movie or story any justice at all. It definitely needed more dialogue and cutscenes. So if you've never seen a movie, then you won't know what's going on. The Terminator for the NES is an action platformer game. The controls are very basic. You have your attack button and your jump button, and you can switch between your weapons to use, like if you have a special one like grenades. In jumping, it's kind of a problem, as you don't have 100% control of Kyle when he jumps. This is a problem since doing some of the tricky parts of the game call for precise jumping on platforms. The controls are barely average. As I was playing, I had a good amount of trouble most of the time making Kyle move, jump, dodge, or just do anything. He moves and responds both fast and slow. And unfortunately, some of the clipping issues in this game really don't help at times. I can jump to a platform and she'll clearly make it, yet somehow fall through the floor and fall to your death. Most of the enemies cannot attack you while you're ducking, and when you duck, the Terminator will just jump right over you, almost always right into a bottomless pit. The Terminator itself poses no threat whatsoever, and can be killed very easily, even with kicks and punches. What the game lacks in enemy AI, it more than makes up for it in bad level design. Especially when you take the game's controls and collision detection issues into consideration. In the final phase of the first level, when you enter Skynet, the developers added sections where you must make precise jumps over platforms so small that they're more narrow than your character. Keep in mind that this section takes place right after you struggle to outrun an HK aerial in a side-scrolling driving level where you barely make it out with low health and probably one life. In the future, you get to use a gun and grenades, but once you go to the past, you get nothing at all. All you can do for the rest of the game is jump, punch, and kick, which makes the game even more difficult. In the police station level, this is a maze where you must run through corridors trying to figure out what you have to do while killing police officers and trying to figure out where to go next. Then you got the driving levels. It's so hard to steer your car while trying to shoot the Terminator that's chasing you, it's almost impossible. The last level is the computer factory with the steel press. The Terminator is chasing you, and you have to lead him towards the steel press. But you have to time this just right because there's a bottomless pit on the opposite side. So if you're not careful, you'll fall right off and die. The game only gives you three lives at the start of the game. You can gain extra lives throughout the game, and there are no continues and no passwords for this game. The title screen and some of the images taken from the movie and thrown into this game look okay, but for all the levels in this game, they look bland and not that well detailed at all. Kyle doesn't even look like his movie counterpart at all. The T-800s look a little off, although the real Terminator, when he does lose his skin, looks decent. 
Unfortunately, the game doesn't have that many enemies. The game has policemen, punks, and dogs that attack you while you are in the past. When you're in the future, at least the enemies there are machines and it makes sense on why they're attacking you. And the animations are really bad in this game. All the characters move really stiff. There was not a whole lot of details put into this game. The stages themselves aren't that well detailed and could have used a lot more work. After you beat the game, you're treated to one lousy ending screen. The music in this game was just terrible. There are a few tracks in this game, but not that many. And they are all horrible and very repetitive. It sounds like they were looping 3 seconds of track with a few strings added in about 30 seconds over and over again on all the tracks. And as for the sound effects, all I can say is wow. And that's not a good wow. The machine gun doesn't even sound like a gun at all. Even some of the explosions I felt was a little off. There were a few sound effects that were just okay, mainly the slime that drops from the ceiling in some stages, but for the majority of the game, the sound effects were just plain bad. The sound effects themselves are so generic and repetitive. It kind of feels like they were recycled from the Atari 2600. Contra, Metroid, and Mega Man came out five to six years prior to this, and those have much better sound effects and music. The Terminator is one of the worst games I've played on the NES. The gameplay is just bad. It has horrible level designs. The AI isn't good at all. The graphics are really bad. The music and sound effects are just horrible. Possibly one of the worst I've heard on the NES game. The driving level is almost impossible. You don't get no continues or passwords in this game. If you manage to beat this crappy game, you get to be treated with one lousy screenshot letting you know you just beat this horrible game. Overall, I did not have any fun with this game. It's more frustrating than it was fun, and I would definitely not recommend this. The Terminator for the Nintendo gets a 1 out of 5. What did you think about the Terminator for the NES? Please leave comments below to share your thoughts. That will do it for this episode. I will be doing live streams throughout the week, mostly games from the Xbox or the Nintendo Switch, and sometimes on Tuesday nights I do a retro game night live. And remember, if you like these videos, give it a thumbs up for your support. Thank you for watching, and I will see you here on the next episode. Have a great day.